Hello everybody, my name is Skybound. Sorry, Lux. And we've just got finished watching season 8, episode 16 of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. And that was a pretty interesting episode. Yes, indeed it was. Um, well, Flim and Flam, it's nice to see them back again, I suppose. Oh, in... by the way, reaction in yeah. the description. <laughs> yeah, before we go any further, yeah, because you... Um, yeah, so basically, Flim Flam, uh, it's interesting to see them again, it's kind of, it was kind of what I was expecting, to be fair, I expected them to, well, I was hoping they were going to subvert it by saying that they were actually genuine and this uh, Neyshreya character was basically trying to, only allowing them past creditation because he wanted to put a competitor there to close down her school. Who well, closed down to while at school. Um, but no, it turns out they did actually have a sham there and they just and he just allowed them. Uh, well, well, whether he allowed them to go ahead and. Uh, well, whether he credited them and just was a bit lacking on the details and really look into it because he wanted it, it kind of benefited him and he didn't know about the scam or he knew about the scam but he just didn't care because he was trying to shut it down or he told them to. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure about like the what the overall sort of mm. lesson was because mm. the thing is, the way they lined it up, that could have been a really good lesson for like uh, kind of putting the past behind someone if they're trying yeah, to change. Yeah. But instead, they had oh no, Flim and Flam are actually doing something. Yeah, bad. that kind of. And it kind of, it's kind of like, you know, they, they had the opportunity to kind of <clears throat> turn Flim and Flam yeah. back into kind of... I think it was definitely a missed opportunity there. Yeah. Definitely. Because they could have done that. I mean, it could have proven that he was a bit lacking on the details and that's the way he could have proven it. it well, you know, it could have been proven that they were... Yeah. It could be that Twilight would have proven it by some of the method that he... I don't know, I think what's happened there is they tried setting it up and they may have thought about, okay, we're going to say the passage behind them and then find out some way of stopping this naysayer guy by saying he was lacking on the details or he didn't really look into it or he didn't meet to his own standards or something like that. But they failed to come up with a way of actually doing that in a good way and they thought, oh, sorry, we're just going to have to end it this way because, you know, See, I, I, thought, I, think that, I, I think they probably run out of ideas on what, how to end that episode. I thought, to be honest, it was going to be Naysayer who, would, who was going to be the kind of villain behind that. I thought he'd be kind of like puppeteering um, yeah, so Flim and I. Flam, like something, something was going on under the surface. Maybe, maybe he was bribing Flim and Flam into, you know. Yeah, that would have, that would have been a good way of doing it, actually. Because that way, that would explain the accreditation. That would explain, you know, why Flim and Flam were randomly doing a, like a university, and then it would also kind of expose um, Naysayer as the, as you know, the villain, the, the villain that needs to be. To, to be kind oh, of... Oh, he's definitely the villain that's going to need to be stopped, and I wouldn't be surprised if he turns up in the last, uh, in the last episode. But I've kind of had a thought about how it, the last episode is going to go. It's probably going to be, they're going to have to rush off and defeat Chrysalis, and the school's going to be left unintended, and this naysayer guy's going to say, hi, you see, I've proven myself right here. Or, you Poss know, it's going, to, or it's going to prove him right in some form or fashion. No, so it's it's in. Although we have already had an episode along that line, though, it could be foreshadowing it. Yeah. So, so I think it was still an enjoyable episode, and if you watch our reaction, we are clearly enjoying it. Yeah, it's in, but it's enjoyable, but I think when looking over the story, yeah, you so start to think, well, they could have done something a bit more, kind of. Mm. They they kind of just justified Twilight's distrust. Yeah, and, I don't. I think uh, that's kind of the flaw in it. See, this is the reason why I think it's getting to the point now where they're struggling to come up with morals to cover, because they, it's, it's, it's just, I wouldn't say it's a repeat of a previous lesson, it's more of a case of, oh, you can't trust these guys. Yeah. And, and I don't want these guys to be, like, put into this sort of pit and hold, um, thing of, oh, you can't ever trust these guys, because then they're just becoming a stereotype, and every time they come up, it's, oh, they, 
you know, they're always going to be the villains of peace. I kind of think it would make them better if they actually improved themselves. I think yeah. it would have actually made the episode better, but I'm, I think they must have not been able to come up with the idea of doing it. Although I personally find that if it turned out that he was funding them and basically saying, oh yeah, I'm funding you, but you're not meeting any of these standards that, in your accreditation, you know, but she could have found out that way by finding out what the accreditation was and seeing that they weren't actually following those standards and basically, like, or, you know, showing that they were not being, you know, exactly honourable that way. So, you know, it's, I would say, I mean, what would you give that score-wise? Because I'm not even sure what to give it, really. Um, so, the, the premise, like, the actual episode itself, I enjoyed the episode itself. It had some good sort of comedy moments in it, like, for example... You know, when Rarity was being plainity. Oh, yeah. And the eye patch thing, it's like. The... An eye patch, yeah. Yeah, your name is Eye Patch, and your disguise is an eye patch. And the fact that it's I... just like, it's such a terrible disguise, and, and obviously it's not going to work. Yeah. So that was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Mm. That being said, I feel like I, I'm I not the that... biggest fan of the, the whole moral behind it. I would have preferred if I'm it not... turned out Twilight was wrong. Yeah. I, I think, think I would have preferred it if Twilight was wrong. Yeah, I think, I think that would have been a good lesson to... Uh, but I say... Right, so in other words, what we're saying is we think, the exe we think that the humour behind it was basically the on The episode point. was good. The episode was enjoyable, but looking back on the actual so, story... So, OK, that, so yeah. let's sort of say enjoyability-wise. I know that's really subjective. Enjoyability-wise, like, watching that episode, like, and, and just sort of enjoying the characters in it. So... Um, if we just kind of take all of the backstory and everything yeah, out of yeah, it, yeah. I'd, I'd give that a solid 8.7. Yeah, I would give it at 8.7 without the story. But, However, because of the story, I've got to knock it down to about 7.8. Just because I'm really not sure about the direction. I would it. say I would actually knock it down to 7.6 for me. Cause it, Slightly it, lower. Yeah, in fact, I would probably go to 7.5. For, because it, that really could have been, they could have taught a really good lesson there of trusting people that you had bad experiences with because I've had similar things like that to me in the past where I've had to trust people that weren't exactly being dishonourable like Flynn of Lamb but I originally didn't trust them but I've had to learn to trust them gradually over time. And it turns out like, yeah, they're not, they're not... Like, yeah. it's, it's not that you thought they were a bad person, it's just you didn't really know what to think of them. Yeah, kind of it's, it, yeah. Um, but, but this, you know, the yeah. distrust is kind of, you, you can kind of understand the distrust, but at the same time, it's almost like she was, well, well, she was deliberate, she was looking to try and find something they were doing wrong. Yeah. And that kind of exposed the fact that they were actually doing something wrong, which... Again, as, as I said... It's not a bad thing for her to look into it, but, uh, you know, to hide, uh, hold them to a high standard because of the, the past things, but at the same time, it could have taught her a lesson. Yeah, I, I There still... wasn't really a lesson there, that's what we're basically saying, and that's but, the reason why I'm giving it a lower score, or for the story aspect of it. Basically, the lesson was, Twilight's always right, which, yeah. is, which, isn't the, which isn't the best lesson, considering they could have done a really good sort of lesson on trusting people you previously mistrusted, you know, um, you, you know, trusting people's attempts to better themselves and, mm. and you know, that, that could have been a good lesson, but uh, as I say, that, that's it, so that, that's my thoughts on the episodes, um, and yeah, that's, that's all I can really think of, uh, guess it gives your thoughts down below if, if, uh, you know, you've got some differing thoughts on that, that's yeah. fine, um, you know, hit, hit us up in the comments down there, Give us a like or a or a um, subscribe no, if you if you enjoyed the content and press the bell thing because you probably won't get it all wise. I mean, for some reason we still don't seem to be getting that many views. So yeah. Anyway, <laughs> but anyway, hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If you did watch it, um, I'm Skybound. Starlight Flux. And we'll see you at the next episode of My Little Pony: Friendship Is Magic, Season Eight, Episode Seventeen. Goodbye. Bye.